Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was at Sephora the other day and I saw that they had a lot of their holiday kits on sale. So I thought I would, you know, check them out and then pick up a few and, you know, see if they're worth the value. Um, I know a lot of mini kits, like holiday kits, tend to not be as good quality, um, especially the eyeshadow palettes. I'm holding firm. I have no desire to ever pick up like a holiday like the Too Faced Holiday Eyeshadow Kits, but I did want to try some of these other products. So let me go ahead and show you. Um, I've already taken everything out of the boxes because I've been testing everything. So I'll show you the boxes and then I'll just show you the products. So the first one I decided to pick up was Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it comes with a mini glass bomb, which I've always wanted to try. I've never tried anything by Fenty Beauty. And then it came with a highlighter, um, kilowatt foil highlighter. Um, $24 for the two of these. I don't know that that was actually a sale or if that was just their regular price for this kit because this one doesn't have the price anywhere on the box. So I don't know if that was actually the sale price or the full price for the kit. But anyway, so it comes with this really pretty um, glass bomb called Sweet Mouth. I haven't worn this one yet, but I have swatched it. And the formula is, you know, really nice from... see that from what I've swatched so far it feels really nice it doesn't really feel um, overly sticky look it blends in really nicely to the skin so I'm excited to try that because I've heard such wonderful things about the glass bombs and then it came with a mini highlighter and when I saw this at Sephora I was actually a little nervous to even get this if I can get it open first of all look at the packaging it's really really pretty I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a subtle like purple holographic to it, really pretty. When I opened it, it was really dark. It's like this beautiful rose gold foil highlighter, very foiled, and I don't really like crazy blingy highlighter. But when I swatched it, first of all, let me swatch it full on opaque so you can see how intense it is. So that's full on opaque, look at that. That would make a beautiful eyeshadow. But then if you barely tap into it and just get like a little tiny bit, you can really sheer it out and it's not that intense. See, look at that. I'm actually wearing it today. I wanted to see how it would look on my skin if it was going to be too dark for me. And I think it actually looks pretty good. I, sh I did just a tiny, I barely touched my brush in and just barely went around the perimeters um, so that it wouldn't be crazy intense. But obviously you can see that you can, if you, if you really love intense blingy highlighter, then this will definitely build up. So this um, I'm pretty happy with. Um, excited to have two Fenty products that I can, you know, finally test out. And the second one was the Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip. This is their lip kit. This was originally $42, which I wouldn't pay for. But it was on sale for 25 so you get all these items you get one two three four five six seven eight pro yeah eight products for 25 dollars um two of them being full size charlotte tilbury lipstick and then this um, rollerball lip gloss are full size and the rest are minis so the first one that i swatched i haven't worn this yet but i swatched it was the charlotte tilbury uh, lipstick in very victoria first of all the packaging is beautiful and then you look at the color, it's like a very nice, like brownie mauve. And then when I swatched it, I was actually surprised by how sheer this was. Um, rather than being like a full on opaque lipstick, this was more like, um, like a L'Oreal color rouge. That's kind of what the formula reminds me of. How it's just like a nice glossy wash of color. Um, you can build it up a bit, but it's not gonna be fully opaque. I'm not sure exactly how much a full size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick cost, but I'm sure it's more than $25, which was the whole cost of this kit. Um, so I, you know, I'm pretty happy. I'm glad I only paid $25 and not like a full price for this lipstick, being that it's such a sheer wash of color. I would never pay full price for a lipstick like this. And then the next one that was in there was Too Faced Sex on the Peach. I've never tried Too Faced um, lipsticks before. This one I was afraid was gonna to be too peachy. I don't look good in peaches, but it's actually very brown. Um, too brown for my liking, in fact. It smells nice, it's got like their, 
it's got like a faint scent of their, you know, their peach scent. But anyways, a little bit too brown for me, but I topped it with a nice pink gloss and like really blended it in and that was much better. So I, when I do wear this, I will definitely wear it with some kind of gloss to tone down the brown. And then the next one, as well, look how pretty this is. This is by Fenty, Fenty Beauty, really pretty packaging. And this is in Flamingo Acid. And looking at this, I actually thought this was going to be more like a sheer wash of color, but this is actually um, pretty opaque. Really, really pretty. I haven't worn this yet, but when I swatched it, it was nice and smooth. It felt good on the lips. It wasn't drying at all. And it was a beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm very happy with this one. And then the, next, the last lipstick was the Sephora Lip Stain, which I love these. This one is in the shade um, 96 Red Velvet. I'm wearing that now. I really love the Sephora lip stains. I think they're beautiful. I don't have this color. I do have, you know, their red lip stains, but not this color. Um, and I think it's really nice. I really like it. Okay, so the next four things are like balm type products. The first one is a full size rollerball glossy lip balm, which I'm wearing over the Sephora lip stain. Really, really nice formula. What brand is this? Just says, be a roller baby in your ink. Readable rollerball gloss. So I don't really know what the brand is. It's too many things on here to really know what the brand is. I guess Ink Credible. I don't know. Really nice formula. I really like it. It's a full size. It's nice and creamy. I just, I like it. The next one is the Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. This is that mask that everyone goes crazy over. And I really like it. I used it last night. It's really soft and creamy. Feels really hydrating on the lips. I will continue to use this. Um, I'm not going to go out and buy a full size of this. I think the full size of this is absolutely ridiculous, but I am really glad that it's in this kit so that I can finally see what everyone's raving about, and I do really like it. Okay, and then it came with a Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm, and it's green. This one I've tried. I tried already, and this has a really nice really nice uh like a clean minty almost scent really really nice um smooth and creamy i'm um, smooth and hydrating really glad i got that and then the last one is by fresh i guess that's the brand it's called sugar rose fresh it's got really pretty packaging and then it comes out like this and this is a tinted balm i haven't tried this one yet doesn't really have a scent um, but you know I'm excited to try it I think the packaging is really pretty and you know I like these tinted balms they're really nice for just a sheer you know wash of hydration on your lips okay so the last one I got let me take all these things out of here so I can show you the box okay the last one I got was the Sephora favorites superstar and it came with this rose gold uh, insert. I took everything out because I've been ho housing all the products in here and I've been, you know, using them out of the box. So let me go ahead and show you what came in this box. And this was originally $48 and it was on sale for $34. So wait till you see what's in it. I think it's a really good value. So first of all, it came with a full size Fenty Beauty highlighter. Again, it has that beautiful, like, purpley um, holographic shift to it and when I went over to SWAT to find this shade because it's in the shade mean money and hustla baby when I went over to see what it looked like so I could tell what the colors were I saw that a full-size Fenty this full-size Fenty highlighter is $36 and this whole kit was on sale for $34 dollars. so even if I was only interested in just this it was cheaper to get the whole kit than to just get one highlighter. So this one is actually um, not too dark for me. The colors are nice. I wish it was a little more pinky. They had one that was pink and I was kind of hoping that was the one that was in the box, but it's not as this one. Um, it's got double sides. So one side is, I guess, her regular highlighter formula. And then the second side is her kilowatt, um, what's it called? Kilo, like kilo, yeah, kilowatt formula. Freestyle Highlighter Duo. So this one is the regular one. And that one's definitely soft enough that I could use. And then that one 
is a kilowatt and that one's a little more intense definitely not as deep and dark as the sand castle so the fact that I can get away with wearing this means that I can get away with wearing this so I'm really happy that this was in the box and so I get to try some more Fenty Beauty highlighters okay and then it had this high the milk hydro grip primer which I've heard a lot of really good things about it is hydro which I'm which I'm assuming means that it's um, like hydrating water like hydrating this feels I used it today and it felt really good on the skin and blended right into the skin um, feels really soft I'm gonna have to look to see how my makeup holds up if I get overly shiny but I don't look I don't look overly good my nose on camera is looking a little shiny but overall I don't feel like I'm overly luminate like luminous so I'm gonna continue to use this I think it feels really nice I'll look to see how the longevity is and then let's see it came with a bite lips uh, not lipstick but an a bite a bite um, lip balm and agave and I've already used this and it felt really nice it has some kind of strange scent it smells almost like um, you know what it smells like it smells like um, donuts <laughs> That's really strange. It smells like a glazed donut. I don't, I don't understand the smell, the scent, um, but it was really hydrating. I like this, so I will continue to use it. I got a lot of lip balms in these two kits, so. <laughs> Next one is a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mini Mascara. I like the Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm not gonna open this one because I have a lot of uh, mascaras that I'm working on at the moment, but um, I do like this formula. I got it in a boxy charm before and I liked it. Then I got a NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. Um, I love pencil sticks. It's a nice big fat. I love these chubby pencil sticks. And it's a color red, which I love. Um, when I wore this, surprisingly, it was very sheer. Um, but I had just applied... Uh, where is it? I had just applied this because I was doing all the swatches, and so I didn't want my lips drying out. I had just applied the lip balm. So I don't know if that affected the opaqueness of this so I'll have to try it again but in my swatch pictures I'm going to show you you'll see that it really wasn't all that opaque actually let me do it on my hand let me see how opaque it is yeah so even on the hand it's not the most opaque it's more like a sheer wash of color but that does actually look a lot more opaque than it did on my lips so maybe without an ultra hydrating balm underneath it'll be a little more opaque so I'll give that a try and we'll see and then it came with a Laura Mercier caviar stick which I've been hearing people rave about these for years this one is in the shade metallic taupe this one I haven't tried yet but let me go ahead and swatch it now oh look at that you guys really really beautiful that's not taupe I don't know why they're calling it taupe but really beautiful color so I'm excited to play around with this because I've heard so many good things about these caviar sticks then it came with a benefit roller ball or roller liner eyeliner in the shade black it's one of those like marker looking liquid liners I am wearing it today um, I messed up on this eye because I've never used liquid liner before messed up on this eye you can see it got a little wonky and then I ended up having to just make it like a thicker line than I intended. And then I'm wearing it on this one. This one was better. But I will continue to play with this. Um, you know, I'm just newly into wearing liners. So, you know, keep playing with it and we'll see. And then it came with a full-size Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I'm excited about this. I've been really into the soap brows. Um, I've tried Clear Brow Gel before. I've tried the... Um, Maybelline clear brow gel, which I didn't really care for. Uh, number one, the brush was just way too soft, and the gel itself really didn't do anything. It didn't hold my hairs in place at all, so it really did nothing. Um, I'm excited to play with this one. I did use it today, so I just fluffed up my brush, my brows like I normally would, and then I ran this through it. And I really like the brush. It's a lot stiffer. It's just like a regular mascara wand, and we'll see how it holds. My eyebrows don't really feel sticky, but I put this on maybe like an hour ago and they're still in place. So, you know, we'll see how well this holds and I'm glad it was in the box and then I could try it. And then the last thing in the box was Urban Decay All Nighter, little mini setting spray. Um, from what I've 
learned over the last couple years, the f last few years, is that this is made by the exact same company as Scandinavia. Like they're, from what I understand, they're pretty much the same company, same ingredients, same lab and everything. But the all-nighter is like double the cost of the Scandinavia's. So I'm really happy to have this. Um, I'm going to do like a comparison to whether or not it's really holds up to the same as um, Scandinavia. Oh, that's a good idea for like a video. I'll do like a get ready with me. I'll do half my face um, all nighter and half my face um, the Scandinavia. I used it this morning. Um, so far, it seems to be the same. The spray is nice. Um, see, it's got like a, it's got a nice spray. And we'll see how it holds up. Smells exactly the same as the Scandinavia, so <laughs> really interesting. So overall, I think these kits are definitely worth the money. Um, happy about this one. This one, um, I'm pretty happy about. It has a lot of the like a lot of things that I've wanted to try. Like the Laneige is really nice. This is really nice. I'm really happy about that. The Rihanna lipstick is really nice. The full size Charlotte Tilbury, I'm a little bit disappointed in simply because it's just so sheer. Um, I mean, how amazing would it have been if they put like pillow talk in here instead? And then the Too Faced is a little bit too brown for my liking, but the rest of the products in here, I'm happy to have. I am, I do like this, I like the color, and I do like the formula, so I'm not mad at it that it's in there. It just was a little surprising to me, that's all. So for $25, I definitely think this is worth it to try. For $42, no, I would've been mad if I paid $42, and then, you know, the lipstick was so sheer and that was too brown for me. But for $25, um, I think it was worth the money. I definitely think this was worth the money, $24. Um, I think the highlighter looks really nice and I'm excited to try the glass bomb. And this one, um, $48, was on sale, I don't know if, I, yeah, was on sale for $34. I definitely think was worth the money. Um, just for the, the full size Fenty highlighter alone. I'm really happy to have this full size. Um, really happy to have this to be able to try this out. Um, better than sex, you know, I don't need any more mascaras, but I have it and I like the formula, so I'll use it. Um, excited to play around with this. I really love, you know, lippy pencils. And I'm really excited to have a caviar stick um, so I can play around with that. And then the roller ball, I'll continue to, or I don't think it's called a roller ball, the roller liner. I'll continue to use this um, and let you guys know. And then this, you know, I'm happy to have this. You know, I always use setting sprays. So I think all of them for their sale prices were worth the money. This one for $48, I wouldn't have paid $48. I wouldn't have paid full price for that, but the fact that it was on sale for $34. So overall, I'm happy with all of them. I'm gonna continue to use all these products and um, maybe use some of them in like a get ready with me and let you guys know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think if you can get them on sale, I don't know if they're on sale for the rest of the season, if this is like their discounted, discontinued price. You know, it's not even the holiday yet, but they're already on sale, so I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, go check them out if you guys are interested while they're on sale. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.